once you've selected the agent that you have trust in, and that's very important, listen to your agent and take his or her advice. Not 100% of the time, perhaps, but really listen to what they're suggesting that you do and why. For example, uh, there are certain things in the yard, uh, this is fall right now while I'm filming this, that I'm going to suggest that you do if you want to sell next spring or next winter. Um, there's all kinds of things that should be done in advance and can be done in advance. That not only gives your home a better presentation, but it reduces some of the stress down the road. So you'll want to make sure that you think about what time of year your house is going to go in the market and what can be done. You want to have a checklist of some of the basic items. And we have a wonderful guidebook that we have written. It goes through room by room and explains how the room could be presented to look best for a potential buyer. So this includes uh, staging and it's of course starts with decluttering but it goes way beyond that uh, and it takes it room by room. Putting your home on the market to get the most amount of money is a process that takes time and the more time you allocate the easier it's going to be. Chances are that the last time you moved you were younger um, but you may not have had uh, children or you may not have had uh, an elderly parent that lives with you or that you need to take care of. It just seems like as life goes on, it gets more complicated. So the more time um, that you allocate, the better. Once you take our book and start going through room by room, uh, we prioritize it for you and we tell you how to go through and simplify the process. We have a great list of resources of um, tradespeople that are proven. They have a great track record with our client. Their fees are reasonable. They're not super cheap because we want to recommend good people, uh, but they could add a lot of value and can save you a lot of trouble. Some of the things, for example, that I find that people uh, sometimes do, paint rooms the wrong color, go through and do maybe um, some expensive uh, changes that aren't necessary. Let's take, for example, a bathroom. I've had people that have gone to a lot of time, trouble, and money to, let's say, paint the back of their cabinets, replace the cabinet um, fronts, and put in a new countertop, put in a uh, sink, get new hardware. By the time they're done, they've spent maybe three or four times the amount that if they had bought something that was manufactured, um, that could have been just dropped in place. M maybe they didn't think of that because they would have had to change the floor, but changing the floor would have added value. And at the end of the day, they would have spent a lot less money and they would have had a much better product. So there's some suggestions along that way that, that we can make. More to follow in the next episode.